Perfect. Thank you, Denny. Thank you, TK, for, for the introduction. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Petr. I'm a documentary filmmaker from Prague, Czech Republic. And I'll be talking a bit about the documentary we did uh, some, some, some time back. So when I was asked about, uh, you know, to think about how all this journey started, I went through my old messages and I found that it was actually April 25, 2021. That's when we had the very first meeting with Mercy, Josh, and other people from VADA. So as you can see, it, it was not really a sprint. It was rather a long marathon to, to do this. And when I met them, I knew right there from the beginning that I want to do a documentary about them and about the work of VADA that they are doing in Africa. So at the time, it was around like Fund 4, Fund 5. And it took all the way till Fund 8 when Film and Media Challenge was introduced. And we had the opportunity to film this properly. From the start, my goal was to spread the word about Cardano and about Catalyst, and mostly about people who are behind the real projects like uh, building and educating. So that's the whole reason I, I'm, I'm here in this space, actually. Uh, now, what was the challenging part? Next slide, please. It was filmed in uh, Ghana, in Cameroon, in England, and small part in Switzerland. So. It was very challenging to like coordinate all the teams and all the parts. That that's why we got into some delays and stuff. We also had to change the duration of, of the movie. We started with 30 minutes, then we realized that we need we need 40. It took some like challenging uh, changes. Um, then the whole post-production phase was made in Prague, where I have a small studio. So we filmed everywhere outside. We took everything to Prague and here we did all the post-production process, all the audio recording or voiceover recording. Um, next slide, please. Once the movie was finished, uh, we did uh, a private screenings first. So we went to uh, the teams at Vada from like Burkina Faso, Douala, Accra, and, and, and these places. And we did like private screenings for these people. Next slide, please. And from that point, we started to uh, go to the festival circuit, let's say. So it, it's the phase, it's the distribution phase where, where we, we are trying to reach as many valuable festivals as possible. And uh, we try to submit the movie to them and then attend to these festivals. So the very first thing that happened was Newcast Film Festival, which uh, we received Best Short Film Award. And uh, right after, the documentary has been selected to be a part of the documentary workshop in Budapest. So it was the event where I, I went to and I was able to learn all about marketing distribution and, and about the festivals from the top experts in the documentary industry, specifically with, with Chasing the Vada Dream documentary. And I really learned a lot there and I got valuable contacts, which uh, I'm sure will help me later and already did. Uh, then the movie has been selected for VD 2023, happening in Rwanda in July. VD stands for Women Deliver. It was a huge conference with over 6,000 attendees focused on gender equality and solidarity. This event was organized by the government of Rwanda, Rwanda, Rwanda sorry, with high-profile politicians and presidents actively participating. And Art and Film Festival was a part of it, and we were also a small part of it. So uh, later, the festival had a virtual platform for and other thousands of people who could watch all, all these movies online. Then just uh, last Friday, we had a special screening in California with uh, people from VADA discussing about the movie. And just, rest, just yesterday, I received a message from festival in the Republic of Moldova, uh, where we were recognized by the jur jury as a semi-finalist for this festival. There's one more festival coming up in October, 
but I have to be a bit cryptic here because I was asked by the festival staff not to tell anyone yet. So I will not tell you the details, but it's going to be great live event. And all I can say that it's going to be in Africa. So follow the story, uh, you'll hear more later. Uh, the ultimate goal of uh, our project is to do as many screenings as possible. And we want to do discussions afterwards so people can discuss what it really means for Africa and what are the options of like education and uh, how, how to actually use the technology. Next slide, please. So I would uh, say we have like two parts of the distribution. One is for the general public who don't know anything about Cardano. And now we are thinking about focusing on the Cardano community as well. So it's my great pleasure to announce the cooperation with Newcast. Newcast is a video ownership and streaming platform. I often like to say that uh, it's like Netflix for Cardano, where NFTs are working as tickets to access the movie. So you are basically minting the NFT through your wallet and you get access through this NFT to watch the whole movie. Um, we'll be minting these NFTs uh, on September 7. And I have to thank Sharon and the whole team from Newcast who, who really did a lot of work here. And uh, we'll be using special art designed for this purpose where we use the scenes from the movie and we transformed them into the NFTs. So the pictures you are seeing right now, for example, on the left, it's uh, it's Didier from the movie. He's uh, he's teaching Haskell to his students in Cameroon. So this is like an extra value or extra fun part we we edit uh, for people who who want to watch the movie. Uh, yeah. So uh, next slide, please. I think that that's it for me. Uh, you can follow us uh, using these uh, links and we'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you.